comes when the Baby Show have done some research into sleeping habits and apparently one in ten couples actually have to sleep in separate beds after they've had their first baby. Well, to sort all their problems out is Jo Tantum, who's a, an expert in baby sleep. Jo, why do babies not like to sleep as much as we do? Um, I think what happens is, of course, babies all love to sleep. You know, in the first two weeks, everyone says, I've got an angelic baby, and they will sleep anywhere and everywhere, which is true, but after the first two weeks, then they wake up. And what happens is if we try and feed them to sleep because, you know, we're tired and babies are very sleepy, we then put them down and they learn to fall to sleep, either being rocked or fed to sleep. And then that's what they think happens. And so we kind of, you know, keep going because we don't know what else to do. So your top three tips for baby sleep? Bedtime routine, really simple from the word go, but then obviously as they get older it can include stories and things and that just calms them down and lets them um, understand about bedtime. Um, doing a dream feed before you go to bed, feed your baby so that you only have one wake in the night. Um, and also make sure that day and night are very different. Day is very, you know, bubbly, you cuddle your baby, you talk to your baby and night time is very calm and quiet. Now we have a super duper product here, don't we? Just show me very quickly do. about this getting baby off to sleep. Okay. It kind of simulates what a car does and even makes the noises of kind of windscreen wipers wipers, a country road, the motion of a car, fantastic. Right, a couple of more products. This is a